top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail, but the rest is harassment. Yo guys, what is going on, Tim Pursuit, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool gaming outro in Photoshop. I know I've done um, this tutorial before, but it's a different style, and it's actually a style I've used on my second channel for the outro on there. So, while we're on that topic, guys, make sure you go check out my uh, second channel. There'll be a link in the description, or you can check um, on my channel homepage, it'll be on the sidebar. Um, but yeah, um, I've just started to upload there, and um, I'm getting some really good feedback. So, if you um, do not know about that channel, um, because I know not, I know a lot of people already do know about it, but for the new people, make sure you go check it out. It would really mean a lot. Subscribe to it, um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, but other than that, guys, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new, and let me know what video you'd like to see from me next, because I do always check the comments, guys. And yeah, let's get right into it. Right guys, so we're here in Photoshop, so the first thing you want up is a 1280 by 720 document and also my 27k GFX pack which is free so you guys can go download that and uh, I'd just like to say guys, I just recorded this whole tutorial and it wasn't recording the sound so guys, don't do what I did, I know it's probably done quite a lot but I always do this I always, uh, forgot, I always forget to turn the mic on but anyway, let's just get right into it um, and yeah, it's going to be pretty easy. So the first thing you want to do is choose a color. I'm going to go with orange and I'm going to just, yeah, you want to make the background first. So just alt and backspace. And we're going to just add some colors, just make a simple, smooth background. So what you want to do is in the top left and bottom right, change that to overlay with a white spot. Bring down the opacity. Pretty simple stuff. And then you can also add one in the middle as well, but make sure this is on black this time. Just an overlay through the middle. Bring down the opacity. Very nice. And then you can also, in my pack, go over to the coloured lights and choose one of these. I'm just going to go with this one. And then ch change the colour of it to whatever colour you're using, whatever colour you're working with. So for me it'll be orange. So, probably something like that is the closest thing and then you can change it to like colour dodge and stuff and you get a really nice effect going on. So the next thing, what I'm going to do is go to overlays and what you want to choose is, you can actually choose any, I think I'm just going to go with this one though and I'm going to change it obviously to like a orangey red colour and change it to colour dodge and then if you bring it below it or b below all of them and then bring down the opacity a little bit gives it a really cool effect so the next thing I'm going to do is choose this one right here uh, not that one, that one this black and white effect and change that to colour dodge but instead of having it on that, make sure it's on pixelated mosaic and give it like a pixelated effect. And then filter, stylize, find edges. And then control I and then it like inverts it so it's just the outline rather than the whole image. So you get this really cool pixelated effect and if you duplicate it by pressing control J and then rub away certain areas, that gives it a really nice effect. So that's that. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the Cartoon Flames and choose the last one in the pack and then just drag that in. It looks really nice. You can leave it like that if you want. I'm not too sure. Or you can go to Pixelate Mosaic and give it that pixelated effect again. It is totally up to you guys. I think I'm going to keep it on the pixelate effect and then if you press ctrl J, ctrl T and then flip it horizontal and vertical then it goes into the top left it's like symmetrical and it looks really nice. The next thing I'm going to do is add spots of black which will be set to overlay in a second just like that and then bring down the opacity and then do the exact same thing but with white. So now I'm just going to blend everything together with the different colour curves. 
so brightness contrast bring the brightness down contrast up color curves bring that up that down exposure bring the exposure up bring the offset up and the gamma correction a little bit and then color balance you just want to mess around with this and just see which one looks best maybe something like that and then if you group all that together you can see it makes it look a lot nicer so the next thing I'm going to do is add a white spot at the top and then bring down the opacity and then I'm going to add a, a small rectangle line at the top and change that to overlay and then press ctrl J and bring it down to the bottom and keep that thin line going so yeah that looks really nice and now you can add um, a box in the middle, middle for where the video is actually going to go so add a new layer go to orange or whatever color you're using Alt backspace to fill in the whole thing and then press Ctrl T, shift and alt and drag it down to middle and this is the size of a video and then you can add some uh, layer styles to it but it doesn't really matter because you can't see it so I'm just going to do something like this, add an inner glow to it and maybe even a drop shadow, give the video, the video like a drop shadow effect um, and yeah, I don't think there's much else. You can add some text if you want, but I'm mainly showing you guys the um, background and stuff like that. It just looks really nice. You can add some more color corrections if you want. You can also add some more colors. So maybe like something like this. And then change that to color dodge. And then bring down the opacity. That can look quite nice. But I'm going to leave it like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you go check out my second channel. There will be a link in the description. It would really mean a lot, guys, if you could check that out. Like this video. If we break 250 likes, this template will be in the description. And let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. I do always check them uh, comments and I'll reply to them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star Fucking with me, call up on no Uzi and show up, man, them the shot toss